I'm concerned for her interactive's future. Uh, I, I wasn't concerned earlier, not earlier today, but just earlier in the year. I am now officially concerned for her interactive's future. I'm, I'm worried. I am kind of upset because I read an interview today, not even an interview, just a blog post from uh, GeekWire. They po it was posted like May 1st last year, so it's, it's an old one. Um, but from what I read, it, it kind of got me worried. May 1st, 2015 was uh, about the time that Sea of Darkness released. In that post, they stated that her interactive had laid off a, an un, unstated number of employees. And I knew that they had that employees had either left or had been laid off. I, I've known about that for a long time. However, this was right before the release of Sea of Darkness. At that time, Sea of Darkness, uh, at the time the Sea of Darkness was being released, um, no one really had the idea that um, her interactive would be looking like they are right now, if that makes sense. I don't think anybody knew that things would get to where they are now. Um, and uh, with, with what that post said, after they laid off employees, this, the whole fiasco with her interactive not saying anything about Midnight in Salem, with, with them being so secretive about a lot of stuff, my, my guess is because they've laid off so many employees, or from what I get from it, they've laid, laid off so many employees, um, that it seems like that's why they're not so far ahead with Midnight in Salem. My guess is because Midnight in Salem isn't out yet, is because uh, is the is because they've laid off an unknown number of employees, and from what I've read, all they have left is admin and marketing or something. I I don't know. I again I have no idea really what has happened, but from what I've read from this article, nothing good has happened, and I I am actually kind of worried because. Uh, I read all the comments on the on that article, and one person said that she knew somebody who was working at her interactive at that time. Uh, that was a year ago, but apparently they were shifting towards more to be a, a mobile game company. And I um, I am not in support of that at all. Codes and Clues was good. I did enjoy Codes and Clues. And then I started hearing about it all the time. And that's all people talked about. It is, I do believe now, it is legitimately a game meant for kids. And it is, it's, um, it's, it's not what I, I think it's what Her Interactive kind of meant to do. They meant to get girls more into, uh, computer coding and um, sort of computer software and stuff but the way they did it with codes and clues I think was kind of not the right time to do it they should have done that earlier on or not at all or waited to start their company until now they I think I think they've taken or made a lot of uh, not a lot. They, they've made mistakes. I mean, we all make mistakes, but the ones that Her Interactive have made recently have, um, they have scared me. And the, with what Her Interactive keeps saying, another point I want to get to is, with what they keep saying, yeah, you know, we're not ready to release stuff yet, we don't have information. I'm kind of starting to think they le legitimately don't have anything. They are starting to um, move away from the PC games. Sea of Darkness. I don't want to say this. I really hope I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. But I really hope I'm wrong. But Sea of Darkness could have been their last game that they've made for the PC. It is so possible. 
again, I, I don't know anything. I'm just going off what I've read off the internet. But it is very possible that Sea of Darkness could have been their last game. Midnight in Salem might never come out. They said that it, there, it was possible it was going to come out later 2016. We're in December. What? My phone. Oh, oh wait. It is December 11th today. I don't think I'm in focus anymore. Whatever. It's December 11th today, and a lot of people had hoped that it would come out by by Halloween. It didn't come out. 2017 is super close, and if it doesn't come out in 2017, then I have officially. If it doesn't come out by June of 2017, I have officially lost hope for her interactive. And by that time, uh, if we don't see another PC game by that time, if we at least if we don't even get a release date by that time, then then I will. I I'm gonna move on because I have I've stuck with her interactive since I was four, which was 2005. And that was, I think that was the year, I think that was the year that Last Ring of Blue Moon Canyon came out, I can't remember. Um, but I, yeah, I've been with them for such a long time. I've gotten to know them so well through their company, through their games, that it's a part of me. And for me to, to give it up like that, that's not gonna be easy. It's just, it's, um, it's hard enough making this video, to be honest. Because, uh, it's disappointing to see where her interactive is right now. And uh, it is scary. It's I know it's just a small, small company and they they um you know, they make small games, but their games have had such an impact on not just my life, but like thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. So it'd be a big blow to sit to hear one day that they're stopping, they're closing. That would suck. That would be, that would be a tough day. Cause I've invested so much time, so much money, just not into this channel, but just into getting to where I want to be with Nancy Drew and her interactive and all that stuff. And I'm not, and um, I really hope people don't hear that and think that I'm working for her interactive. Which, by the way, I don't work for her interactive. Just to make that clear, I made it clear in other videos, but to make it clear again, I'm not working for her interactive. They're not paying me to say this, not telling me to say this. I'm saying this because I am scared of what is to come of her interactive. That's gonna be, it, it's, it, it is hard. Um, that's a big, big part of my life. And uh, if it were to just go away like that, I don't know. Cause it, it's, it's a, community that, a community and company that I relate really well with, I'm really close with. I understand them, so if they were to go away, I don't know where I'd go. I don't know what company I'd go to to um, to get to know well. Like, I love Halo. I love 343 Industries. However, I don't feel that relationship with them because I haven't grown up with Halo. I've grown up with Nancy Drew, but with Halo, I was I tur I was one when the first Halo game came out, so I had no idea about it. I mean, I. Nancy Drew games are older than I am, um, but I I, um, I feel more engaged with the company and the community. So, and I know, so enough with that. But another point that I want to cover is with them saying they don't have information or anything to release about Midnight in Salem. If they have, they when I interviewed uh, Little Jackalope, she said that they don't re like they don't like releasing stuff until it's done until it's completely done. I I said, okay, that's cool. I mean, I, I, I get that, but I don't really think I like that. Um, reason being, if we get a teaser of something, if, hi, Peanut. Um, if we get a teaser of uh, like uh, a location, or, or um, finished character art, or something, or just something close 
anything, even if it's just a drawing, I'll be happy because that means that it, it, it shows, it breathes life into Midnight in Salem. And uh, yeah, if they can release more, just little stuff. Come here, you're gonna be in the video. Come here. But yeah, if they can just release more little concept art tidbits, I think I'll enjoy that a lot more. Um, I think I'll I'll feel like they're still working on it. But just after what I've read this morning with that article, where are you going? <laughs> Almost to my dog. Whoops. Sorry, Doge. Um, but after what I've read with that article, I am worried that they are gonna go do something that I don't think they really intended to uh, intended to do when they started the company. And with what they've done with laying off employees. Um, and I I don't know if they've hired new ones. I really hope they have. Um, actually, you know what? It's, it's talking about hiring new ones. Test the intern. I am starting to I'm, I like this is not really a bad or a good thing. It's not really a bad thing. But I'm starting to believe that she's not even an intern anymore. I think she's been hired on as a full-time employee. But they keep calling her an intern. And Indy has been there or wasn't there. Near, I think she was there for two months, maybe three. I can't remember. Um, but Tess has been there for close to half a year now, I think, which is a long, long time for an intern at her interactive, at least. So maybe she is still an intern. I don't know. Maybe she is an employee, make, working just in the codes and clues area section subdivision. I don't know. Um, but if, if that is, if, I mean, I got no problem with Tess working there. I, re I really like Tess. I think she's a fun person. But, um, if she's a part of the Codes and Clues team, Codes and Clues doesn't have a big fan base. And I think that's something that her interactive either needs to realize or knows, but, but is hoping that they can get somewhere with Codes and Clues. Um, and if they can do something really good with it that really helps the company or company, you know that's good. But I want I, I really hope that they can stick to their roots, keep making great, amazing PC games that we all love, and um, just sort of. I mean, it's, it's always good to try things new, as uh, try new things, try things new, uh, try new things, and Codes and Clues is a perfect example of that. Trying, uh, they, well, they have done mobile games in the past, but they were also based or just ports of their PC game. So Ghost of Thorn Hall, that was just a port from the PC to the um, to the iPad and Kindle and stuff. Um, so the Shadow Ranch book was just uh, it was it was their game mixed with the book, put into iPod and iPad and iPhone form, and uh, then released like that. Um, they were they had plans for other mobile games which were just ports of their past games like Tomb of the Lost Queen and Silent Spot and Silent Spy. Those never panned out. Why? I have no idea. I wish they would have done more like that, because stuff like that is fun. Being able to like, if you don't have a laptop or if you don't have a laptop but you have a PC desktop and you play your Nancy Drew games on there. Uh, but then you go on a trip and you can't bring it with you because you're not going to bring this massive desktop with you wherever you go. Uh, to have more games, or ports of these games on um, on a phone, I think would be would just be nice to have. And if they could even do more games for other consoles, uh, like handheld ones, uh, for instance, Nintendo. Don't please don't do this though. Not for the Nintendo DS or. Uh, does the PS Vita still exist? If it does, uh, I haven't heard anything about it. But if you were to do a console game for Xbox or PS4 or something, that'd be cool. That'd be awesome, actually. I'd be totally down for that. I'd play it every day. Um, but I'm just worried that they're they're not gonna that they are gonna close down and that nothing is gonna happen anymore. It's it's a scary feeling to know that. And uh, I I was doing some research research this morning, and I'm like, you know what? I think it is time that I make another video about this. I think it is time, to, like when, when in one of my past videos, um, uh, what was it, Midnight in Salem Pressures, I think that's the most popular video on my channel. 
But in that, I'm just saying we, we need to give her interactive time to, you know, sort of sort things out and um, figure it out and uh, um, um, where am I going with this? Just give him time. That video, I don't really believe everything I, I, everything I said in that video anymore. I don't believe that um, I don't believe that we need to give her interactive much more time. I think they need to sort of get their game back. They need to they need to be on the ball a little bit more. I don't want to criticize her interactive because I love her interactive, but I think they need to sort of get back in the groove. I think it might have been a mistake to lay off so many employees, unless of course they are financially not doing good, which would also be pretty scary. But her interactive, I don't think has ever released sales and all that information. I don't think they ever will just because they're a small company. But at this point in time, I think it'd be good to know. Uh, just to be honest, it would be good to know how they are actually doing. Are they doing good? Are they doing If they're doing good, then I'm, I'm fine. I'm like, okay, well, you know what? If you're doing good, then just keep keep doing what you're doing. But if they're not doing good, then, I, then I'll start saying her interactive needs to step up a little bit. They need to, they need to take the wheel and stop swerving on the road. Just using metaphors now because metaphors are fun. But for real, I think they need to take a look at what has worked and build on that. Treasure in the Royal Tower was an amazing game. If they could do something like that again, uh, gameplay wise, story wise, location wise, um, sound wise, everything like that. I, I, I think Treasure in the Royal Tower is an almost perfect game. And some of their past games haven't been perfect. Labyrinth of Lies, in my opinion, I really don't like Greek mythology. I really hope Labyrinth of Lies would get me to like it, but that just didn't happen. I'm just... That was not a perfect game. That's my l third least favorite Nancy Drew game. The Shattered Medallion, although there's a lot of hype over it because we got to see Sunny June. Woo! It wasn't a very good game. I'm sorry. It just, it wasn't. Silent Spy, people got really hyped over that because there's like Nancy's past and all this stuff. I liked it, but it's not, I don't really like it. It wasn't, mm, I don't know. Uh, Tomb of the Lost Queen. Only thing that was cool about that game was the new interface and new menus and stuff. Otherwise, the game wasn't really that great. Go to Thornton Hall, it was, it was okay. But otherwise, the only really good past games that I really liked were the Deadly Device and the uh, and Sea of Darkness. But even then, Sea of Darkness wasn't the most amazing, amazing game either. People are gonna disagree with me, but you know what, that's my opinion. That's why it's called an opinion, so we can have one. It's not right or wrong, it's what we believe. So. I am worried. I've said it m multiple times in this video, but I am worried. Thanks guys for watching this video, and it's been 20 minutes. 20 minutes of, of recording, it's gonna be edited down and stuff, but still. That's a long time for, uh, for a rant video. Um, anyways, I'm gonna say goodbye. Say goodbye, Doge. <laughs> okay, see you guys. Boom.